starting to think you weren't going to come home. You told Mark about me reading your diary? Why? To try and explain why you were so angry with him? You shouldn't have. Well, if you hadn't read my diary in the that first place... was between us. Excuse me, but you were the one who went very public and had a great big row with Mark. So you had to go and apologise and explain? Yeah, well, I didn't want him to think you were being so aggro over nothing. I don't care what he thinks. And that's the problem, Maya. You do. He is a friend. A good friend. Oh, he is so caring. He had the nerve to give me relationship advice. Well, it's not like I asked him to. And honestly, if you're just going to yell at me, then... Then what? Oh, I hate this. Babe. This has got to get sorted. Okay? We can't just ignore it. I love you and I'm so scared of losing you. I love you too and I want to be with you, but you just have to believe that. Mark is just a friend. So he says, but I know he's lying. Okay? Just tell him to go. Leave you alone. I am not going to do that and you are not going to tell me who I can be friends with. The real problem is here is that you just want to control everything in my life. No, I do not. I am trying to protect you. Us from that sleazebag. He is not the threat, Jay, and it doesn't matter how many times I tell you. I am so sick of fighting all the time. It's all we ever do. I don't even know why we got back together. What, you want to break up? If it's just going to be like this, then why stay together? So shoot me. But we're not going to break up over Mark Weston. mentioned we are going to be New Zealand's first gay couple to get married. <laughs> It'll blow the whole house argument right out of the water. Hilarious, Jay. Good to have you on board. Hello. Hello. Hi. 
some cheese and herb scones, your favourite. She will make those for me. Cholesterol. That's the least of my worries. My old man lived till he was 83. And he ate cooked pig like there was yeah, no tomorrow. Yeah, and he smoked every day. I have an occasional <laughs> puff on my pipe and all hell breaks loose. Any news? If you mean have we sold to that crook Jones, no. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> By the time he'd had his sixth drink, he completely missed the fact that the blooming dogs had eaten half the fish. <laughs> So, have there been any offers on the place? None worth talking about. We'll have to have a walk after, show you around. Maybe we should advertise in town. I'll get some rich yuppies to come and stuff up the place. I'd be like that. I mean, wouldn't it be great for a young couple starting out? I mean, look at the place. The fences down the front, you know, the sheds need new guttering. Trees are ratty. You think I don't know that? It's all right, love. And we looked at the future, Dad. Yeah. Brick and tile in town, eh? There's no need for that. Your dad knows he's not managing. So sell. I mean, if I was rich, I'd get a mortgage and buy you guys out, but I can't. Going nuts worrying about you. Well, having a go at your dad isn't going to help. Dad's only holding on to this place because of pride. It's not a good enough reason, Mum. It's time we all accepted that. It's tough times. My head doesn't know the half of it. It's so beautiful. Nothing to what it might have been. Oh, we've been sitting on plans for a new house. Even talked about buying next door at one stage. Couldn't manage it now. Well, I don't know. Mr. Jeffries might be sick, but I always say he's got enough energy for two. Financially, I mean. We couldn't manage financially. Oh. That's why we haven't sold. Too many debts. We can't afford to leave. I don't know. We have had one offer, Chap Jones, down the road. Will it cover your debts? And leave enough to look after Ian? I don't know. Talk to Maya about it. She only wants to help. I know. And if there's anything I can do... Thanks. How's your dad? He's OK. I got him talking about the Tri-Nations. <laughs> How about we take a stroll up to the gardens? See if we can get some fresh beans for dinner. Mm. I should have told you. I didn't want you to worry. Mum. So what do you think about the farm? Like you reckon. Sell to the highest bidder. Jones, even. <laughs> you always got me to help, you know. Thank you. You've been out here talking for so long, Ian thought you might want some jaw lubricant. <laughs> As if that old cook needs an excuse. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks from me too. I think we've decided to sell and take it from there. You think Dad'll be okay about it? He'll carry on like a pork chop, but secretly he'll be relieved. The Jones boys are good kids. They'll work the place like it needs to be worked. I'll get the dinner on the go, eh? Go in hand. Thanks. Me and your dad, we need a chat. Cheers. Go in hand. Thanks. Me and your dad, we need a chat. Cheers. To you. What have I done? Well, you calmed my mum down for one thing. Ah, oh, we just talked about stuff. Did I ever tell you how much I love you? Hmm. A romantic comedy? Or this one? It's got 
besides theirs. Oh, bleak but compelling. Oh no, it's one of those. No thanks. Can I have some help here? Oh, should we? I don't know, she did not say the magic word. We're outside. Special dinner. Oh. Are you cooking? Why should that be so surprising? <laughs> what, what's on the menu? Well, for entrees, we've got prosciutto wrapped figs with gorgonzola and walnuts. Then, foie gras and cream eggs with lemon barley pilaf. Wow. And mango flambe to finish. Mmm, exotic. Do you know how to cook all of that? Mm, what's to know? I can read, can't I? I always try and stick to the tried and true when cooking to impress. Like tin soup and crackers. Right, I get your point. You said flambe. How's your fire insurance? <laughs> Sorry. How can we help? Just get out of my way. Are you sure? Some of this stuff looks tricky. It's cooking, not brain surgery. Just go!